You're listening to the audiobook of Robots Will Steal Your Job, But That's Okay, written by Federico Pistono, read by Ian R. Buck. Find the show notes for this chapter at thenexus.tv slash rsj12. Chapter 12. The Scorpion and the Frog One day, a scorpion looked around at the mountain where he lived, and decided that he wanted a change. So he set out on a journey through the forests and hills. He climbed over rocks and under vines, and kept going until he reached a river. The river was wide and swift, and the scorpion stopped to consider the situation. He could not see any way across, so he ran upriver and then checked downriver, all while thinking that he might have to turn back. Suddenly, he saw a frog sitting in the rushes by the bank of the stream on the other side of the river. He decided to ask the frog for help getting across the stream. Hello, Mr. Frog, called the scorpion across the water. Would you be so kind as to give me a ride on your back across the river? Well now, Mr. Scorpion, how do I know that if I try to help you, you won't try to kill me? asked the frog hesitantly. Because, the scorpion replied, if I tried to kill you, then I would die too, for you see, I cannot swim. Now this seemed to make sense to the frog, but he asked, What about when I get close to the bank? You could still try to kill me and get back to the shore. This is true, agreed the scorpion, but then I would not be able to get to the other side of the river. All right then. How do I know you will not just wait until we get to the other side and then kill me? said the frog. Ah, crooned the scorpion, because, you see, once you have taken me to the other side of the river, I will be so grateful for your help that it would hardly be fair to reward you with death, now would it? So the frog agreed to take the scorpion across the river. He swam over to the bank and settled himself near the mud to pick up his passenger. The scorpion crawled onto the frog's back, his sharp claws prickling into the frog's soft hide, and the frog slid into the river. The muddy water swirled around them, but the frog stayed near the surface so the scorpion would not drown. He kicked strongly through the first half of the stream, his flippers paddling wildly against the current. Halfway across the river, the frog suddenly felt a sharp sting in his back, and, out of the corner of his eye, saw the scorpion remove his stinger from the frog's back. A deadening numbness began to creep into his limbs. You fool, croaked the frog. Now we shall both die. Why on earth did you do that? The scorpion shrugged and did a little jig on the drowning frog's back. I couldn't help myself. It is my nature. This is a story often told in psychology classes to explain how vital it is to understand the immutable nature of something. There is no point intellectualizing, making excuses, and developing competing analyses. Sometimes something just is what it is. We need to recognize the intrinsic nature of capitalism. It is an unfettered force that puts the values of money, profit, and the ultimate objective of economic growth above life itself. There are too many real-life examples to ignore. Unless we take steps to moderate the present capitalist system, a few unlucky people will be left sitting on a vast pile of gold upon the smoking remains of our planet. Reference 1. I closed the previous chapter with the question, What have we become? The better question is, What have we allowed ourselves to be manipulated into becoming? The growth paradigm is based on the assumption that growth means better life, therefore people must adapt. Jobs, consumption, production. The cycle continues. You have been listening to the audiobook of Robots Will Steal Your Job, But That's Okay, written by Federico Pistono, read by Ian R. Buck. This audiobook is a production of The Nexus TV, a network of technology-focused podcasts. Find our other shows at thenexus.tv. 
This audiobook is released under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 3.0 Unported License. So feel free to use any part of it as long as you link back to the original page. You do not use this for any commercial purposes, and you release your version under the same license. Until next time, have a good one. The Nexus. The Nexus. The Nexus TV. Podcasts from from the the Technological technological Convergence. Convergence. We're presented with so many choices in our lives, how do we make sure we're making sound decisions? By getting a second opinion from an informed source, of course. Lucky for you, the hosts from across the Nexus use lots of hardware, software, and media, and analyze them on our show, Second Opinion. From reviewing the latest phones and laptops, to pitting apps against each other, we've got you covered. Find us on our website, thenexus.tv, or by searching for Second Opinion Reviews in your favorite podcast player.